Hello everyone. We're going to be factoring a trinomial in a special case given by this problem. We're going to be looking at something what's called a perfect square trinomial. And what a perfect square trinomial is you have three terms. The last sign is a plus. That is important. And we're going to check to see if this is considered a perfect square trinomial. Well, I need to focus on then the first and last terms. So I need to know if they're perfect squares. If I take the square root of the first term, 49x squared, you get 7x. If I take the square root of 9, you get 3. Now, to determine this is a perfect square trinomial, you are going to do the following. You are going to take the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. We're going to multiply. So when I take 7x times 3, you get 21x. Now, to determine if it is still a perfect square, I need to take the 21x and I need to double that. If this number is the same as the middle term, that means you're good to go. This is a perfect square trinomial. So how I'm going to set this up is the square root of 49x squared, we got 7x. So that's going to go up front. Okay. Square root of 9, we got 3. So I'm going to bring it back here. Now I'm going to follow the first sign. Whatever this sign is, is going to go in both parentheses. Since they look identical, I see there's 2, 7x minus 3. So you can write it this way, or you can write it as 7x minus 3 raised to the second power. Either way is fine. And there goes your answer. 